What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new movie, Vampires vs. The Bronx. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to this new movie. Holy smokes, Vampires vs. The Bronx is hella fun. It's set in the present day, but it's got that 80s or early 90s throwback vibe to it. The pacing is great. The comedy is hilarious. The vampires are old school and thrilling, and the entire cast are terrific. This is just a scary, entertaining, little Goonies type adventure that anybody of any age can enjoy. Written by Oz Rodriguez and Blaze Hemingway, and directed by Oz Rodriguez, in Vampires vs. the Bronx, a group of young friends from the Bronx discovers that the reason for the gentrification that's been happening all around is actually more sinister than it appears. So now they must fight back to save their neighborhood once and for all. Starring Jaden Michael, Gerald W. Jones III, Gregory Diaz, Method Man, Shea Wiggum, Sarah Gaydon, and Zoe Saldana. Although this movie references Blade franchise several times, understandably so, it actually brings out an atmosphere that's akin more to Lost Boys or Fright Night or Vampire in Brooklyn. Whether or not you like those titles is irrelevant. The point is, director Oz Rodriguez pays homage to the tone and the style of the way vampires were done in that specific era. Everything about it, all the way down to the music score, looks and feels and sounds like it could have been made during those years. And it makes for a spooky yet exciting spectacle. The super famous Zoe Saldana shows up only in the beginning, just to give you that sense of Drew Barrymore in Scream, where you know they won't end up being part of the whole story, but they leave a mark anyway. It's like a stamp of approval, while at the same time, taking your comfort away right off the bat. Immediately you know that you are in for a hell of a ride that doesn't aim to put you to sleep. The trio young leads, Jaden, Gerald, and Gregory, have such excellent chemistry, they can give those Stranger Things boys a run for their money. As I implied earlier, the vampires in this movie follow your basic vampires rules. There's no sparkling, there's no twist, there's no long tongues like on the strain, and they're not immune to jack shit. I think part of the reason is so that there's no unfair advantage. As long as the boys stick to garlic, holy water, the cross, sunlight, and a stake to the heart, they could stand an equal chance of battling those blood-sucking creatures. And lastly, be it the Bronx or any other neighborhood, the idea of folks coming together to defend the place that they love and grew up in will positively resonate with audiences. Because hey, it may not seem much, but it's our home. So whatever you do this Halloween season, do not miss out on Vampires vs. the Bronx.